Let's look at how to find the equation of a circle given three points. So the key note is that the general equation of a circle is given by x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is a, b and the radius is equal to r. So we have a circle here and on the circumference of the circle we're given these three points. Now the approach is to draw two chords on this diagram. Now that we have our two chords, we're now going to work out the midpoint of each of these chords. So finding the midpoint between minus 4, 9 and 4, 5, we have that the midpoint, which we'll call MP, equals to minus 4 plus 4, and then we're going to divide that by 2. And then we're also going to do 9 plus 5, and then we're going to divide that by 2. And if we simplify this, we end up with that the midpoint equals to minus 4 plus 4, which is 0, 0 divided by 2, which is 0, and the 9 plus 5, which is 14, and then divided by 2, which is 7. Now finding the midpoint of the other chord, we have that the midpoint MP equals to, again, the X coordinates added together. So that's minus 8 plus minus 4 divided by 2 and then we're also going to add on the y coordinates together. So 1 plus 9 and then that divided by 2 as well. So simplifying this we end up with that the midpoint equals to minus 8 plus minus 4 which is minus 12 divided by 2 which is minus 6 and then we have 1 plus 9 which is equal to 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5. Now to find the gradient of the chord AB, we need to work out the change in Y over the change in X. In other words, we're going to take the Y coordinates and subtract them, and then divide this by the X coordinates after we subtract them. So we'll do 9 minus 1, which equals to 8, and then we have all over the X coordinates subtracted, so that's minus 4 minus minus 8. And so that simplifies to minus 4 plus 8, which is equal to 4. And 8 divided by 4 simplifies to 2. Likewise, finding the gradient of the chord BC, we're going to again work out the change in Y over the change in X. So this time we have 9 minus 5, and then we're going to divide all of this by minus 4 minus 4. And so simplifying this, we end up with 9 minus 5 equaling to 4, minus 4 minus 4 equaling to minus 8, and then 4 divided by minus 8, which is equal to minus a half. Now a fact that we can use is that the perpendicular bisector of any chord always passes through the center of a circle. And so since we have the gradient of the chord AB, if we want to work out the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, we need to take the negative reciprocal of this gradient here. And so the negative reciprocal of 2 is equal to minus a half, and so the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is equal to minus a half. Likewise, we have the gradient of the chord BC. If we want to work out the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, we need to take the negative reciprocal of this gradient here. And so the negative reciprocal of minus a half here will give us 2. And so on our diagram, we've now drawn the perpendicular bisectors of both of these chords which we can see intersect at the center of the circle. So using y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are a point on a line, and m is the gradient of that line, we're now going to work out the perpendicular bisector of AB, which is this red dotted line going across. We can see a point on that line is minus 6, 5, which is the midpoint of the chord AB. So the point we're going to use is minus 6, 5, we also worked out the gradient of this perpendicular bisector, which was minus a half. And so we're going to use the gradient as minus a half. So using our formula here, we now have y minus y1, which is five here, and that equals to the gradient, which is minus a half, brackets x minus x1, and where x1 is minus six. Now, if we simplify this, we get y minus five equals to minus a half, brackets x plus 6. Now expanding the brackets we get y minus 5 equals to minus a half x. The minus a half times 6 is minus 3. Now adding 5 to both sides we end up with y equals to minus a half x and the minus 3 plus 5 which equals to 2. Now if we also work out the perpendicular bisector of BC, which is this dotted line here, we know that a point on the line is 0, 7, 
which we can use. And we also have the gradient of this perpendicular bisector, which we worked out as 2. So we'll use m equals 2. And so again, using the equation of a line y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1, we end up with y minus y1, which is 7, which equals to m, which is 2, brackets x minus x1, which in this case is 0. If we now simplify this, we end up with y minus 7 equals to 2 times x, which is 2x. And so finally, adding 7 to both sides, we get y equals 2x plus 7. Now to find the center AB, we can see that this is the point where both the perpendicular bisectors intersect. In other words, we need to make both of these perpendicular bisector equations equal and then solve. So doing that, we end up with 2x plus 7, which equals to minus a half x plus 2. And if we now solve this equation, we add a half x to both sides, which then gives us 2.5x plus 7 equals to 2. We then take away 7 from both sides, which gives us 2.5x equals to minus 5. And then we divide both sides by 2.5, which gives us x equals minus 2. x equals minus 2 is the x coordinate of the center of this circle. To work out the y coordinate, we can just substitute this value into any of these equations. So substituting this into the second equation, we end up with y equals to 2 brackets minus 2 plus 7. And so y equals to 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4, plus 7, which gives us 3. So the center of this circle is given as minus 2, 3. Now the radius of the circle is the distance from the center of the circle to a point on the circumference of the circle. And so since we know the center of the circle as minus 2, 3, and we're given these three points on the circumference, we can use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. If we use, say, the center here and the point C, which is 4, 5, then in the formula we end up with D equaling to the square root of x2 which is 4 minus x1 which is minus minus 2 and then squaring all of this plus y2 which is 5 minus y1 which is 3 and then we're squaring all of this. Now this simplifies to d equals to the square root of and so 4 minus minus 2 is 6, 6 squared is equal to 36 and then we have 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 and 2 squared is equal to 4 and so 36 plus 4 is equal to 40 and so we have that the distance is equal to the square root of 40 which equals to the radius of the circle. So lastly if we work out the equation of this circle then we have in brackets using this formula x minus a where a is the x coordinate of the center of the circle so that's minus 2 here all squared plus y minus b so that's the y coordinate of the center of this circle which is 3 all squared which equals 2 r squared and so the radius of this circle is equal to the square root of 40 which we're also going to square here. So simplifying this, we get a final answer of, in brackets, x minus minus 2, which equals to plus 2 all squared, plus y minus 3 all squared, which equals to the square root of 40 all squared, which equals to 40. So x plus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals 40 is the equation of this circle.